Steve. It's time for your daily presidential address. Okay, everybody, uh, I got uh, I got to play for you guys on this Minnesota Green Bay game, and this is likely going to be a client play. I haven't fully confirmed where I'm going yet, but I do love this play, and it is on the total. We'll talk about it in a second. Before we get into that, I want to make mention that it is five dollar Tuesday over at Wager Talk. I have a five four uh, percent total play going in NFL. It's only five bucks. I, I'm on a three and O run in these plays. Um, and I'm 25 and nine in my last 34, 4% plays. I won this exact play last week. I'm going to win it again this week. Just five bucks guys head over to wager talk and, uh, grab that play. Okay. Let's talk Minnesota and green Bay. Firstly, I want to say that I'm very, 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 very impressed with both of these teams right now. Green Bay has won two in a row. Uh, and that is without Jordan Love. And they are clicking on all cylinders. But really, it's their defense that is killing it. And this Vikings team, man, nobody thought this Vikings team was going to start 3-0. and And yes, Sam Darnold has played absolutely outstanding. But again, it's their defense that is killing it. This Vikings team has gone under the total three games in a row, all three this season. And they have allowed 7, 17, and 6 points. And the 17 points they allowed, that was against San Fran. That is incredibly impressive. Green Bay had a rough outing in Game 1, and since then, they've only allowed 14 points and 10 points against them. Here we have the number one running team in the entire league in Green Bay, playing against the number three rushing D in the entire league in Minnesota. Minnesota is also the second best team behind Pittsburgh in points allowed. And Green Bay, even after Philly put up 100 on them, is in the top half of the league in points allowed. Although both these teams can score, and they have been scoring, I think we see a very slow, methodical type of game. I think we see a real ton of running a heavy dose of running, especially from Green Bay. And I think we see some lights out defense. I think this number is three points too high at 43 and a half. I had this game handicapped at 40 and a half. I'm going to take that field goal of value and bet the under. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm also taping the daily presidential, the NFL presidential address today. It'll be up by 6 p.m. Eastern Tuesday. Love you all. See you tomorrow.